Well, this morning we continue to follow a national competition that's happening right now. It features high schools from across the country, including here in the TV6 viewing area on the Illinois side. It's Fulton, Knoxville, Oneida, and on the Iowa side, Bettendorf, Muscatine, and North Scott. And joining us now with more on another local school hoping to move on to the next round is TV6's Kayla Page. Kayla? Kyle, listen to this. The grand prize of the T-Mobile Friday Night Lights competition includes $100,000 grants, an upgraded weight room, a new high-tech scoreboard. Now, there could only be one winner, and Cal Wheat is hoping their story will stick out to a panel of judges. Cal Wheat has been building up a program from the ground up. They started their football program back four years ago, and the road hasn't been easy. The athletes practice on an uneven field and drive over 30 minutes to play a home game. In the meantime, the athletes continue to persevere despite the challenges. My mom teaches out in North Scott, so uh, she has to drive a long way farther than she'd have to just to get to a home football game. So like just bringing it just closer to uh, just our homes would be a lot more appreciated. I know it's, it's a lot harder than a lot of others have. Like for me, I'm taking a lot of college classes and I know a lot of people also are. And having to travel, you know, 35, 30 minutes for a home game means that you gotta leave a lot earlier and you got a lot less free time from, you know, like going to the game and going home. So you end up getting home a lot later and a lot sooner than others would. Going beyond the competition itself, this season has been a major turnaround for the program after winning just two games in its first three years of existence. They are currently 3-1, and one, although a bond to establish a football field and track failed to pass within the school district in the spring of 2023. Through the help of the community, the Warriors are coming together to make something special on their own. Well, anytime you know you you have to take a bond to a to a vote, and it has to be sixty percent. There's going to be people that are like worried about raising their taxes, right? And so after the last bond failed, uh, we did a survey, and they wanted to separate, um, I guess, education and, and and activities. And so that's where then this group really took off, um, got excited, uh, got grants donations, time, you know, I, I can't, I can't even thank um, all the people that have put in the time uh, to, to do this, you know, time's money in, in reality, right? And the, the, the commitment and the volunteerism has been just extraordinary. Thus far is only through donations within the community and small businesses. Their hope to, is to have a finished field by the start of the 2025 20, season. Kyle. Thank you, Gayla. Now, for contact information on how you can help support Build the Program, you can find them on Facebook at Cal Wheat Athletic Boosters. And, of course, we wish all the schools competing in this competition the best of luck heading into the next round.